Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Pantropy. In this episode, guys, we are actually going to do uh, something a little bit different. Um, I was thinking we could do some base building potentially in this episode, um, potentially, but there's a couple of other things that I would like to see if we can do as well. Now, one thing that I was thinking is um, we're having trouble finding uh, the research we need to make the uh, the next level furnace, and that is the laser furnace. Now, I've actually been on the, uh, the, the Discord for uh, our faction, and uh, someone has actually agreed to help me which is really cool so we're going to do a bit of a trade i'm going to make him a t2 mech because he can't research a t2 mech at the moment he's not had any luck finding it um and then in exchange i'm going to be able to access his research and then see if we can get the laser furnace out of that which is going to be really cool so the first thing we're going to do is come over to this guy i'm going to see if we can get a t2 mech made and then i'm going to go and deliver this guy a present which is going to be pretty cool um so let's go and see if i can uh, let's go and see if i can just type this in uh, so a okay. Can I just type mech? Um, hang on. If I uh, if I can if I can spell it correctly. Hang on. Uh, okay. So a mech. Here we go. So we got a a T2 mech. Right. What do we require for this? That requires a lot of iron. Okay. So it's going to require a lot of iron to to build this thing. But I do think I have enough iron in here. Now I'm going to need to go out and obviously mine more iron for me at some point. But now we can go ahead and make this guy a T2 mech. So this is a heavy duty mech standing 12 meters tall. Can be equipped with two weapons and tools and four tech modules, which is really cool. So this mech is going to be for uh, the guy in, uh, I believe he's in J8. And he's given me the password to his base so I can go ahead and drop off the mech for him. Um, and then once we drop this off, I'll, uh, I'll probably need to make some power cells as well. So I'll go ahead and get those as well. So let's go crafting. Um, and then I'll go ahead and make him some cells. So let's go ahead and make him So heavy duty energy cell. Okay, we can actually make heavy duty energy cells as well. Um, that's cool. Okay, we'll, we'll make a few of those. So they take they take 50 seconds each, but a, uh, it stores up to 10,000 kilowatt hours of energy. So essentially, that's worth um, yeah, that that's worth like 10 of the uh, basic ones. So we're gonna give him a couple of uh, heavy duty cells for his mech as well. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, craft a few of those up, and then once the T2 mech is down, we should be able to go ahead and uh, place this in. Now, you'll also see that in the crafter here, I've also got myself a few other things, like some base building stuff. Here's a uh, T2 mech, I believe. I think this is the one we've got to make. Okay, here we go. So, T2 mech, we've got to go ahead and place this guy down. So, there's our little T1 mech over there, but we're going to give this guy T2, because he can't research it. So, let's go ahead and uh, put this guy here. Man, this one... Oh, look, this one's a lot bigger. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, left click there. That'll take a little while to construct, so we're going we're gonna to leave it there for now and then get the other stuff. So the other thing I need to do then is, of course, um, I went out and found those, these fruit things as well, so that's that's kind of handy. I'm going to need to do a lot of mining off-camera as well, I'm thinking, to, uh, you know, get all the resources again that I need. But I do have a bit of iron here, so we can get, like, 800 iron. But yeah, it seems like a nice trade, so we can go ahead and get some research. Um, okay, so the heavy-duty energy cell... Seems like it needs a bit of a recharge. Um, okay, so it crafts with only one 1,000 things in here. So, hang on, is this coal generator going wrong? Hang on. This thing is still burning. Um, okay, that's a bug. So, our coal is actually still running, even though it shouldn't be. So, let me see if I've got any more coal. If not, I don't want to cheese the system. Okay, I do have a bit more coal here. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to cheese the system. I mean, that's just, that's just cheating. I'll put coal in there, let it burn. I think it's because we had a server restart as well, so I want to make sure that, you know, we're, we're not choosing the system. I don't want to do that. Um, there we go. So if it's going to... There you go. Now it started off. Because if it, you know, if I'm going to choose the system, there's there's no point. There's no there's no fun in choosing it. So we'll go ahead and burn the coal. I'll need to go ahead and mine some more as well on the way. Um, okay, here's some more energy cells coming in as well, which is awesome. So yeah, uh, energy cells being crafted. The T2 mech hopefully is now ready. Oh yeah, look at that beast. Look at this guy. So here's our T2 mech. Oh man, this one, this one's a lot cooler than the T1. He is awesome. So there's our little T1. Oh, there's actually some uh, some resources right, right there. So let me just go ahead and grab that little bit of resource right outside my base. Here we go. So I'll go ahead and grab that. There we go. So yeah, the uh, the T2 mech is looking pretty beast. I don't know if this guy is any faster. Um, but yeah, we're going to give him a couple of heavy duty energy cells. Um, I can put it in his generator or something and we can go from there. So let's go and see how this is doing here. So this thing has... How much charge does it have? Does it display? How much charge it's got? No, just it just displays its capacity. Okay, so... I, th I think it's charging, but we're, we're going to need a faster way to charge these things. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll keep these as they are for now. 
We'll give him some heavy duty energy cells for his T2 mech, and then we're going to go ahead and make our way over to J8, and we're going to go and uh, enter his space and hopefully find the research that we need. So yeah, this is uh, some faction teamwork. So uh, the password I'm going to enter for this guy. Um, I'm going to enter the same password that he uses to get in his base, I think. Um, and I don't want to say it out loud, just in case any of you enemy factions are watching. So I'm going to make sure it's hidden. Um, okay, so his password is... Let me see. Uh, enter, is it? Duh, 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 duh. There we go. Set password of duh, 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 duh. We can get inside this guy. Oh, man, this is this this is awesome. Oh, man, this, this mech is much shorter. Okay, that's, that's, that feels awesome. Right, let's access the inventory here. And we'll go ahead and give him these power cells um okay so we need to okay so the t2 mech does also have the capability to uh it looks like it has the capability to house um much more in terms of like uh weapons and tool slots so the other thing i think i'm going to give him um now I ha we have had some kind of damage to our mining things i was thinking i could give him some mining things um to equip to the mech or maybe we can give him some uh Let's see. Let's let's just type in mech and crafting. Let's see what other. Let's, let's see if we can give him some nice things um, as well, just so we can uh, just so we can see. I'll I'll, I'll feel good then. Um, so mech dual laser lance. Okay. Let's do. What does what does this take? That takes a bit of copper. We can give him some laser lance or machine guns. Um, that takes. Um, can we use tomahawk T2 and T3? Okay. So the dual laser lance is T2. Okay, so yeah, we'll get we'll give him um we'll give him a couple of rail guns. Um yeah, why not? Let's get let's give him some rail guns. Um what should we give him laser lances? What should we give him? I don't, I don't know. Uh, actually, let, let's give him a couple of laser lances. Um let's do it on the uh, on the crafter here. So mech laser lance. Here we go. There's a mech stealth module which we could give him as well, but I think we'll do the yeah, we'll do the laser lance, why not? Um so dual laser lance. Oh, we could give him one each. Yeah, why not? We'll give we'll give him one of each. There we go. Mech laser lance, and we'll give him a rail gun as well. Why the hell not? There we go. So craft one of those. We'll craft one of those, and then he could have some nice things for his mech. Um, I'll probably craft some oil as well because I think I've got the uh, capability to do a bit of that too. So let's go ahead and get some uh, refined oil um, as much as I can. So that's like 550, I think. That's like 11 1100. There we go. So let's go ahead and. Go ahead and just like increase this until I get the right level. There we go. I wish there was a, uh, a max out all button would be really good. Okay, there we go. Now we'll craft all those. So that's 572 oil coming in there. So we'll have, we should have a laser lance here. There we go. So it's a crafty one, but it's something. So we've got a laser lance and then the rail gun is done as well. So we'll equip these guys to our mech. And then we'll go and deliver this guy his T2 mech, and then we'll be able to access his research. So I think that's a, uh, I think that's a fair trade. So let's go ahead and uh, get this guy. And I will equip and install these things. So, install the weapon for him. And then we'll install this one here. There we go. So, slots for ammo. There we go. That's installed. And this guy is installed. There we go. So, now we should have uh, we should have these things on. Oh, look at that. That's looking, that's looking beast. Look at that thing. That is awesome. Right. Okay. So, we now have our TT Mac. So, we have to go to J8. So, we are in F, G, H, I, J. So, I'm assuming... Okay. He is... Okay, so he is actually in the uh, in the middle zone, so we can go ahead and but potentially do some uh, stuff on the way. Um, so let's go and pilot this thing. Uh, we can activate this. Okay, here we go. Activate, and now you can move on. Okay, this mech is actually a little bit faster. Okay, this is pretty cool. So we've got a bit of a faster mech. Oh man, this is awesome. Okay, so now we can go ahead and make our way. Yeah, it's actually quite a lot faster. It feels good, man. It feels good. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way. I think someone's uh, constructing a base here too. They are. Look at that. So we're going to go ahead and head to uh, J8 now. Oh, this is much better. We can get by a lot faster in this mech. So I definitely want a T2 mech for me. So I think I will definitely make one for me. But you know, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be, we're going to be good people, and we're going to go ahead and uh, deliver this, deliver this guy his mech. I'm going to mine some iron on the way, just so we can kind of make up for the amount of iron that I need. Um, I think I have quite a lot on me anyway. But you know, obviously, getting more is going to be very handy. There we go. And then we can get inside this guy. Man, I'm, I'm liking this thing. Um, so. Why can I not pilot you? Come on, let me... Okay, do I have to look at it from... Okay, here lies the problem. There we go, I've got to look at it there. Yeah, this this T2 mech is definitely a lot better. I'm definitely liking this more. So yeah, as we find more iron and uranium, I'll go ahead and uh, give him some of that. Now, it says the energy is low, but don't forget we've got uh, 40,000... Uh, we got 40,000 uh, kilojoules of energy in this thing, or kilowatts of energy. So it's, uh, it's essentially saying I've only got one-tenth of the energy, but that's as much as my T1 mech was taken, which is really good, so 
As long as we can keep those things uh, going, that's all good. So I just want to make sure I'm getting iron on the way as well. Um, could I get in this thing? you got to look at it at like a really specific um, really specific angle to, to get what you need. So I may see if I can do some research as well. I don't know if there's anyone else on the server, but I really don't want this mech to get damaged. So I think what we're going to do is... It may seem it may seem just like counterintuitive, you know. Do the research first, uh, or get research, and then you know if I find the research I need, there's there's no need to there's no need to go ahead and give this guy the mech, right? But you know I want I want to give him the mech. I feel I feel like a nice guy. I want to help my faction, so we're gonna give him this mech because he can't do it himself. Because um, of course the RNG with the research is uh, not agreeable at the moment. I have to say it's it's been the same with me. I've been doing a lot of off camera work, um, and I've not found any research. Because I thought, considering that we've done all the, uh, considering we've done all the stuff off camera, um, I thought that would be the best way to go about things, like especially for finding research, so that we don't, have, so you guys don't have to, you know, watch the same old episode again where uh, RNG is not on my side, kind of thing, you know. But yeah, this mech is looking badass. Look at this. This is awesome. I'm liking this T2 mech. I'm liking this one. I really want to get a T3 one now. Is that uranium there? There is. That's, uh, if we get any uranium, essentially, if I find any uh, resources worth mining on the way, I will um, go out my way to get them, just so we got enough uh, coming in. Because we definitely need some more graphite if we're going to make the uh, the mining laser and a few other things. There we go. Right, so we can go in here. Okay. Um, right, let's go ahead and make our way. Is that more uranium there? It is. I see a couple. I see a couple of bits here. Okay. Let's make sure we're getting all the uranium. The other thing I really need a lot of is titanium as well. I need a ton of that. So if we find any titanium nodes, I will uh, be mining the hell out of those things because they are definitely something I need. Okay, I'm really liking the speed at which we can travel now, though. This uh, this TT Mac, I'm definitely gonna have to make one for me because that will make uh, that will make going around and you know collecting resources a ton easier, which will be which will be very very awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and go this way. Hopefully I don't run into any enemy faction out here. If we find some crates, I'm going to grab them as well. Considering that we... I, I don't know. Do I deliver the mech first and then try the research later? I think I should because I don't want to deliver him a damaged mech, right? That's, that, that's not very nice. We'll, we'll make sure it's a, a, a pristine condition mech. Um, okay, this guy does struggle a little bit to, to get around though. So I don't know if we can get through here. Here we go. So yeah, it says his base is in J8. Okay, so we've got to keep going this way. And, oh, is that a titanium node there? Yeah. So yeah, I don't, I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to get into a situation where we are, you know, PVPing, and then, you know, my mech gets shot up, and then we end up giving him a damaged mech. That, that would be psychic for him. I want to give him a, a pristine one, and we can go from there. So let's go ahead and make our way in here. All right, come on, let me in. There we go. But yeah, titanium, I'm gonna have to stop for because I need it. I'm, I'm in desperate short supply of it. Um, because I wanted to make the tomahawk as well, so if we can get the tomahawk to uh, allow us to fly, that would be uh, awesome. Okay, so it seems the mech has a few um, clipping issues, especially in this part of the terrain here. But that's okay, we can go ahead and uh, walk through here. Right, so yeah, this, this mech is definitely a lot faster, which is really cool. So I definitely want one of these for me as well. Is that uranium there? Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's uranium here. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. Okay, so we're getting some uranium, getting that in there. There we go, so uranium is coming here. Um, right. So whereabouts are we now? So he is in J8, so we are we are literally right near him. So I think this is his base here. Yeah, there we go, this, this is his base right here. So this is J8, and we can go ahead and make our way. We can go ahead and make our way, we're gonna, we're gonna leave a mech outside for him. Wouldn't it, wouldn't, wouldn't it suck if you already had a T2 mech and he was like, no, you can just take it back now. I'd be like, ah, oh. well, that'd actually be cool, but it'd be kind of sucky as well, because I, I gave, I, gave I, I came bearing gifts. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do this. So he's actually got a very big base. This is really cool. Um, but I think he's been doing a lot more than, than I have. So, you know, I think he started earlier. He's been doing a ton more. So there you go. Right, let's go and get on this guy. Right, so this is the base. Now, actually, I did see this base before. I have actually seen this one, but I, it was either this one or a different one, but I definitely remember seeing a base like this before. Um, okay, so we can go ahead and make our way up here. Take the uh, take the good old mech up here. I don't know if you can open the gate from the mech, or if we got to get out. We probably have to get out. Okay, so this is passworded, most likely. Um, so he did give me the uh, password to enter this thing. So this, there we go. That should unlock the gate. So let's go ahead and. Uh... Oh, hang on. That's uh, that's not a good thing. Oh, hang on. No wait, what's the thing? Oh god, no, that's a really bad thing. Okay, hang on. It might just clip through the mech. Okay, it's clipping through the mech. Okay, right, that's fine. 
Um, so can I get on this thing? I need to like get him inside. Um, okay, so he's got a. Oh wait, does he have a TT mech now? Oh, it looks like he does. Okay, I can't. I can't actually get the mech inside. Um, oh, and my character is. Oh my god. Did I just die? I just died. Oh, okay. Spawn at base 82. All right. Well, I just died. Alrighty, guys. Bravos' base is uh, on the horizon again. So hopefully, I'm not just gonna get you know insta killed by something random uh hopefully not we'll, we'll see how it goes um so i'm gonna go ahead and uh come up here and let's just hope that we you know just don't die um hopefully we won't um i actually managed to also find some uh, extra research stuff around here as well um so i've got a couple of things that i could probably try myself before i go ahead and try using his data discs so let's come up here now i don't I, that's where i left my mech up there his gate is now open so i kind of got to close that I'm, I'm just so scared that i'm just gonna die again um it seems there is some issues with the buildings. But there we go. Let's come off this guy. Right, okay. Let's just maybe walk up here and, and see. I mean, I don't I don't know if I just got shot. I mean, maybe something killed me. I don't know. I don't know if I got shot by something or or, or whatnot. But, yeah, I uh, I want to see if I can at least... I, I, I need to get my crate back as well, if that's here. Um, yeah, because this mech is still going. Um... So did I drop my crate down here? If if I've dropped my crate, that's if I've not dropped my crate, that's gonna be that's gonna suck. Cause I mean, oh, I don't know, I don't know where my crate is. Cause my my crate should be here, unless it fell, unless it rolled down the uh, thingy here. Let me see if my crate fell anywhere. Cause that has all my stuff in it. Um, and if I've lost that, that means I've lost a uh, T2 mining tool and everything. Which is gonna be really sucky. Okay, I might. I'm just. I'm just gonna leave that mech there. Um, I'm not. I'm not getting on that thing and, and risking dying again. So this is. Uh, this is Bravos's base, uh, which is pretty cool looking. Um, so let's see what he's. Uh, let's see what he's got. He's got a couple of uh, generators and things. He's got a, uh, a research thing. So I think I'll go ahead and use the. Uh, I'll go ahead and use the research I managed to find. Um, on on this thing and see what he's got so he has okay he does have loads of uh, uranium here uh, oh wait that's that's his crafter isn't there we don't want to do that where his his research table is it this thing here we go so i'll use the research i have um oh no no i do have my stuff back here okay i didn't lose all my stuff it looks like i just lost my um it looks like i just lost my t2 mining tool which isn't so bad okay so let's use my own research and see what i can get um if anything so i can get a okay that's what i need the laser smelter is only a 21 percent chance can i get it uh, we did not. Okay, let's try this one. Can we get a laser smelter from here? No, but we can get a, what's this, a small rocket launcher or a railgun. Okay, I guess I'll just try that one. Okay, we did get that one. So he did say I could tap into his uh, research reserves. Um, so apparently it's this door on the left here is, okay, I think I need to enter the same password in here. Here we go. Right, so I think it's this one here. Is where he has his uh, crafter. So I think he said I could access some stuff from here. So these are his uh, storages. Okay, so that's where his data disks are. Um, okay, so he's got a few here. Does he have any for a laser? So that's military grade boots. Let's see what else he has. A mech shield module, a mech stealth module. So yeah, he has a few in here. I just want to see uh, which ones he has already unlocked because I could probably use those rather than wasting his data disks to try and learn what I want. Um, this one, what do we have in here? Uh, perimeter gate data set. I think I know that one. Man, this storage is big. Uh, what about here? Military grade chest, perimeter gate, um, a shotgun. What else do we have here? We have military grade. Okay, it looks like none of the things he has here are what I need. What is this thing? Oh, is that the, uh, is that a, uh, that's a generator, isn't it? That's an energy storage. Right, okay, so I guess what we'll do then is I'll take the I'll take the common ones and try using those. And uh, that's probably the best thing I can do. I don't want to take all these rare ones, so I'll take the common ones and use those. I give him a mech now, so he's got that. And we'll just take these and see if we can unlock this uh, laser laser fence thing. So I'll try that on his research desk and see what we get. Hopefully something good. So let's go and have a looky here. So this guy is gonna give me So that's a small rocket launcher. Okay, so I, I guess he's all the same. So small rocket launcher, I guess I'll try it. Okay, we got that one. What do we have in this one? Let me guess, the same. That's a, a nuclear reactor. I'll try it. Oh, we actually got it. Nice, we've got a nuclear reactor. Hooray! What have we got in here? This one gives me a heavy armor helmet. I guess I'll get that one. And then we can learn, at least we can learn some recipes here. Um, right, what's this one? That is a nuclear reactor, which we now know. And a bubble shield generator. That's, that's pretty cool. I think we'll try that. Hey, we actually got it. Nice. Okay, so we can, we can learn those things. Let's go and uh, try a few more of these common ones. Because as uh, I don't want to take his rare ones, I just want to take, you know, the common ones. We'll be fine with that. Okay, so are there any other... I think he's got a load of common ones in here. 
So yeah, we'll take we'll take common ones only, and then we will try we will try those, and see if we can get any uh, any things that we need out of it here. Okay, so we'll try the common ones, and see what we get. Let's actually learn these recipes ourselves as well, so that even if we do die, we can go ahead and uh, not have to worry so much. Okay, my okay my hubba wasn't working for some reason. There we go. Now it's working. Hooray! Right, so let's learn all those. So we've learned some new recipes there. So yeah, it's good to help you. It's good to help in the faction because that means you get all the uh, all the stuff. So we need. Okay, so I can't get any of that stuff. That's fine. Uh, let's try that one. That is going to give me a 53% chance at heavy armor pants. Try it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so I'll give him back this one. What have we got in this one? That is heavy armor. Okay, so we need the heavy armor shirt, and we got it. Nice. Okay, so we actually got that one. Let's try this one. Okay, I've got all that one, so we'll put that on the bottom. How about this one? Uh, got all that as well. So it looks like we've got all of this stuff. So we're gonna have to move up a tier. Okay, so we've we've actually got all these. So I'll give them these ones back, um, and we'll move to the next tier up and see if we can research from there. Because this guy's got a ton of data disks, so that is awesome. So what is the next one up? I think the next one is the white ones. I think so. Low quality. Oh no. Oh wait, a black black one's legendary. Oh crap! I've been I've been using this legendary research. Oops. Okay, I should be using the white ones. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I am. I am sorry. I will use the white ones. Those are the those are the ones I need to use. Okay, so white ones. We'll try that as well. So we'll try the uh, the low quality ones, and we'll see what we can get there. Because I th I thought the black ones were the low one. Okay, so it's the white ones we need. So I will try that. There we go. And I think my uh, I think my morning alarm is going off. There we go. Right. Okay, so we can try these. And let's see what we can get here, because I, re I really just need this uh, this reactor. So what we got here, we have, what is this? A precision rifle. Uh, okay, I guess I'll do 100% on the, pre uh, pre the precision rifle. I guess I'll do that one. Uh, what we got in here? We got uh, military tech armor. Okay, so that's 100% one. So I'll, I'll make sure I'm trying not to waste his research. I'll do that one. This one, what we got in here? We have... Which is the highest chance? Okay, they're both kind of the same. Yeah, we successfully did it. Nice. And then this one. So this one is going to give me... Okay, what's this? A a mech barricade uh, or a solar panel. Okay, I'll, I'll try the solar panel. Hey, we got it. Nice. So we can uh, we can build a load of cool stuff now. Um, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, learn these guys. Okay, so at least this guy has found me some research. Um, and I can give him... You know, my, my TT mech is now his. So he may have that. All right. Let's come into this thing again. Right. So it is... Where's the one I'm going to find? I guess... Um, so... Okay, yellow is common. So I guess we'll get the common stuff as well. We'll just use we'll just use the yellow ones and see what we can get here. So literally all I need is this thing. But if we unlock other stuff from it, I may as well just use it. So common research. Okay, I'll, I'll try the common ones now and see what we can get from there. So hopefully our luck is going to change with this. Okay, common ones. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go and do... Research here. What can we get in here? Military tech armor boots, which failed. Okay. Never mind. Okay, we can't do anything with that one. Ah, this one. Boots. Okay, we got it that time. So I will give him back. Oh, that's a green one. Um, okay, we got the boots ready. I'll give him back the ones that I haven't used and things like that as well. So like this one, we can't use. How about that one? Uh, oh, here we go. Um, is this what I need? Okay, this one. Yes, got it. Okay, I think we, I think that's all we need. So I may as well just use up the last of these. Okay, so we have a, a shotgun. Okay, I guess I'll grab that one. And then I'll use these last three. Let's see what's in these last three. So we can get, so uh, that's a shotgun as well, which we know. So there's no point doing that one. That one will give me access to a medium gate uh, and a heavy gate. I guess I'll try the medium gate because that's 100% chance of it. There we go. We'll use that one. And that's going to be, let me try the heavy gate. I guess. Yep, there we go. We got that one as well. Cool. So uh, thanks to uh, thanks to Bravos here, we've now got everything we need to do some extra stuff. Awesome source. Okay, so we can go ahead and put the rest of his research away. Um, so let's go ahead and just drop these stuff back in here for him. Okay, so unfortunately we lost our T2 mining tool, but that's okay. At least the, the point is we can now process uranium, and that's going to allow us to get a mining drill anyway. So, you know, that's, that's no big loss at this point. So there we go. Now we can go ahead and do this. Um, we can have that, we can have that, and then I can learn all these. So now I should be able to make the stuff that I need. So let's go and have a look now in my crafting. I should be able to make the uh, the laser smelter. So if I go laser smelter, 
now requires... Okay, graphite, which I can get. Okay, everything I need for laser smelter I can get, so I may as well just queue one of those up and get them crafting. It's going to take a little while to do. But there we go, we can now get a laser smelter! Hooray! That is awesome. So, laser smelter is done. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to get my mining tool back. I don't think we are, so we're just going to have to just have to settle with that. Um, this mech is kind of still going. I don't want to get inside and die, so I'm probably just not going to risk it. Let's go ahead and... Uh, how do I close this gate again? Um, okay. Press to close. Right, there we go. Now run off. There we go. So at least that gate will be closed again. Um, actually, I kind of need to... Um, now I think about it, I kind of need to... Hang on open again come back the other way I kind of need to make sure his other door is closed as well because I don't want to uh, I don't want to leave his base vulnerable to attack man this gate takes a while to open doesn't it okay come on open up and don't kill me okay gates open let's go ahead and just make sure this door is closed yeah we left his door open like an idiot right let's let's close this door make sure is make sure his door is shut there we go so we're giving him a heavy mech this place is pretty cool looking so yeah we I definitely got to make my base better because this place is pretty uh, pretty awesome. Right, so now can we close it? There we go. Alright, so we have now closed the gate. Let's go down out of his base. And we now have research! Hooray! So that's awesome. So now that we have the research, we should be able to actually progress ourselves and uh, start on mining machines. Because the one thing I have to say so far is like the off-camera work um is a little bit nuts just like by the uh, by the kind of sheer amount you have to do i think my mech is going to run out of juice isn't it well i mean if he runs out of juice he runs out of juice um i will just i'll just to be honest if my mech runs out i'll just leave it i'm not really i'm not really bothered by a t1 if i can get a, if i can just craft myself a t2 later i would just go ahead and craft myself a t2 so if this guy runs out he you know he runs out but yeah it seems my um seems my mining lasers um Seems my mining lasers are not functioning at them anymore, which is kind of odd. But there we go. So we managed to get some research all done, which I'm happy about. So unfortunately, we died, so it's wasted like a ton of a ton of time. I was I was hoping to kind of do this in one in like one recording session, but I think I'm gonna have to split this over two because it you know having to come back all the way this way um, and dying twice as well. That was the other annoying thing where where I had to where I had to come back twice because um, I died again because this friggin scout mech wherever it was um it was back in the desert area it just it literally one shot me um and i was just, at that point i was just like okay screw this <laughs> so uh yeah i had to uh i just i just essentially did a big cut so i've wasted literally like half an hour of, of precious time trying to trying to do this but we got the research now that's probably the best i could have hoped for which is awesome so we're gonna go ahead and head back to base if i see any more research on the way i will grab it and then we can go ahead and see if we can uh potentially get ourselves some depleted uranium and then we'll be able to upgrade and hopefully after a little bit more grinding get ourselves a mining drill and do a few other cool things so let's go ahead and make our way back to base guys and i'll be back in a bit Alrighty, so I'm back in one of these research facilities. Now, uh, the loot crates I have been around and I've actually managed to get myself some research just while exploring. Um, I went back and got my uh, and got my stuff, which is all good. Um, so I've come to this little place here and uh, there's these boxes here that we can now have a look at. So let's have a look and see what's in here. So in here we have, I just want to see if there's any good stuff I want to take. So we've got barricade, a triangle ramp. I just want to see what's in here. And if there's any good stuff, then I definitely want to take it. What have we got in here? We have, okay, some encrypted data storage. I'll take that one. What's in here? We have another two encrypted data storage. Oh man, I can't carry these. Okay, I'll tell you what, we can go ahead and we can kind of cheese this a little bit. We can put these on the uh, on this bar here. Let's have a look in here. We have a mining tool a basic mining tool low quality okay well that's a that's a basic one i mean that'll be handy because I, I lost my other one so we needed to uh we needed to make a new mining tool anyway in here what do we have we have an assault rifle outstanding and that's also something that i lost as well so there we go we actually got ourselves a better assault rifle but not quite as good a mining tool is there anything in this one let's have a quick look in this one we have a uh, lmg turret uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I really want that to be honest. Is there any more stuff in here? I just want to have a, a little look. But at least we got ourselves a mining tool back. That was the that was the one thing I needed to. Uh, that's the one thing I was concerned about is getting the mining tool. But it seems that we have one back now, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So there is still these turrets in here, but this is uh, this is essentially where it is. It's right next to someone else's base as well. 
Um, so if I if I show you, um, they literally built their base like right nearby here. So this area is kind of safe, but at the same time, uh, it's kind of difficult to access because they've got like a big gate around the uh, around one of the sides. So yeah, it makes it a little bit a uh, little bit interesting to try and uh, access this place. As you can see, there's like walls this side as well. So they've uh, they've really sectioned off this area. So it does make it a little bit harder to access. Now one thing I've noticed is the M key isn't working to load the map. So I'm going to have to just you know continually pause and go and and check the map. So I need to head back to my base, which is over. This way, and then hopefully once we're back at base, we can actually go ahead and start uh, progressing a little bit more. Because now that I've got the, uh, the stuff I need to process uranium, which includes the laser smelter, we can actually get depleted uranium now, and that is going to be uh, that's going to be great. Because once we've got depleted uranium, that means is essentially that we are going to be able to go ahead and make ourselves a mining drill as long as we got enough stuff i mean i probably don't have enough stuff now because i lost a lot of my uh, a lot a lot of my resource sink is going to go back into another mining tool so i don't know if we're going to have enough um mining resources to actually make this work but yeah we're going to go and uh, we're going to go and see right so my base is over this way i think so we're going to go ahead and Head down here yeah look at that look at that massive base down here so yeah a lot of people's bases have been uh have been made bigger and bigger and bigger and mine has just stayed like this tiny little outpost thing but that's okay i mean you know i'm not i'm not too worried about that so is this someone else's base or is this a yeah that's someone else's base with a mining with a mining drill so someone's got their mining drill set up i just need to find where mine is now <laughs> i can never find i can never find where mine is because it's so small in comparison there it is there's my little box base there we go right so my little box base is here so let's go ahead and head down into uh, our little area here. Here we go. So I made myself a couple of extra energy cells just to charge up my mech because this guy was uh, low on energy and uh, I didn't want to leave him in the wasteland. So yeah, I had to uh, go ahead and take that. So we can't even take these out because we're so full of uh, so full of uh, stuff, including data disks and research, which is awesome. Right. So can I can I deactivate this guy? There we go. So we can deactivate this guy. Um, and then we can get out. There we go. And let's go ahead and just make sure there's no other. I think I might have put a power storage in here somewhere. Um, oh, there's that, there's there's uh, internal storage of the mech. I didn't I didn't realize that. Okay, cool. So we've actually got a bit more. We've actually got a bit more resources than I actually realized we had, which is which is brilliant. I didn't realize this this guy had internal storage. Nice. Okay, so he can actually store some things. So all the stuff we got from mining is uh, in there. Excellent. Right. Okay. So now that we've gone ahead and got ourselves the uh, okay. So the the first thing we've got is this guy. So it smelts all at high speeds, but it uses 300 kilowatt hours to do this. So essentially, we need uh, we need ourselves an upgrade to our power production in order to make this work. So let's go G. We'll have this guy centered somewhere, and let's go. I guess R to rotate this, so he can be rotated one of four different ways. So I don't want to put him right in front of the window. Where do we want to put this guy? Let's go. Let's go over this side. I guess we can put him over here by our research station. Um, what do I want him? Let's try maybe maybe right there. I don't know which is the right way to go. So let's just go and put it that way. If it's the wrong way, then it doesn't really matter. So I think I think it's probably the other way, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it was, it was meant to be that way, but it doesn't matter. This this guy will uh, take care of all our stuff. So essentially, we put the stuff in here. Oh man, this guy can can store loads as well. Okay, so the one thing we need to do is actually get power for this thing. Um, in order to do that, I think the best thing we can do, we could either make a load of coal generators, or we could look at making ourselves an oil generator, which is probably the next best thing. Because um, I've got tons of oil in here, which is good, um, and I've got a few other things. So I've, I've actually got quite a lot of resources still in here, which is great, but I need to upgrade my mining tool one more time. Um, so in order to get an oil generator let's go ahead and just grab these quickly uh the oil generator i think we could make that from this stuff so let's just go into base no not this one i want this one uh okay here we go so in order to get the next uh the next one we need the oil generator which i don't think it's too difficult to make i think we can already already make it um okay i'm not seeing it here i'm probably missing something hang on Oil generator. Here we go. Oil generator. And um, that requires some gold, some iron. So I think we could probably get two of these. Um, and that should be... That should be okay we, if we get two of those. They take a little while to make. But if we can get two of these guys, we can go ahead and get the stuff we need. Now, next thing we'll do is any research we found, we'll go ahead and do here. So what do we have here? We have a basic energy cell. I thought I could already make that, but oh well. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll try it. Nope. Didn't get it. Okay, what's in here? That's already stuff we know. So I'll just select the one that has 100%. We can make a storage for data disks and stuff and just give them to people. Um, what do we have in here? So 27% chance to research the 30 mil cannon. Uh, didn't get that one. How about this one? That one has 100% chance for the boots. So I guess I'll get. I guess I'll get any that I already know fully. I'll get the ones with 100% chance. Okay, what's this? This is large cargo container. 
Oh, that would be nice, actually. And a uh, perimeter wall. Okay, let's try the cargo container. Yay, we got it. So we can actually have a large cargo container now. I don't know why that really would require research, because it's just like, you know, you just get a small cargo container and just stick it together with another one. You get a large one, but there you go. Uh, what have we got in here? We have, oh, what's this? This is a, a T3 mech. Can we do it? Yes! Okay, we, we can research a T3 mech now. Excellent. Okay, that's cool. Um, what's in here? So this one has 100% chance on the gloves. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do all the research and try and unlock everything, and then I can leave some storage outside for people. Um, so this has 100% chance to do the nuclear reactor. We already learnt it, so I guess I'll just get this one again we could we could make a nuclear reactor as well that's another that's another thing but i think we need um some more stuff for that so we don't know the heavy armor gloves so i'll research that one because then we can make ourselves some better armor um which would be nice um okay so that is heavy boot data set which we know the one i needed to do was t3 max so i'll get the ones i need to learn and take them down here nuclear reactor we know already uh which was the one i needed to learn heavy boots military grade Large storage box, I need to learn that one as well. We'll get these guys down that I need to learn. And heavy helmet, which I don't. And then we've got a couple more here. So then this guy can unlock... Okay, what else can we unlock from here? So I can either unlock a, uh, a mech barricade or a perimeter wall. Let's try that one. Yes, we got it. Nice. Okay, so we got a few more things. So we can start actually expanding our base. So let's go ahead and learn these recipes. There you go. Okay, it doesn't want me to click that one. Okay, that one it does. That one does. Okay, hang on. What is this one? Heavy glove data set. Okay, it wasn't. Was it that one? No, it wasn't that one. It was something else. It was. It was something else I needed to learn. But it's, it's okay. We'll store it somewhere. So, is this guy uh, done making the uh, oil gens? Hopefully, he is. Let's have a look. Here we go. Two oil generators. So let's go ahead and lay these down. As I said, ev eventually all this will get moved around. Man, these things are actually really big. Okay, so let's go. G. Okay, so these go in like the court, the quarter quadrants of a block. So if we have one there. And then if we go G again, we'll have another one right there. There you go. So now we have two oil gens. Uh, so essentially, I think we just put... I don't know if it's oil or refined oil we put in here. So if you put regular oil... Uh, no, okay. It's just got burn progress 0.3. So I think it's refined oil we have to put in here. So if we go ahead and put refined oil in here... That lasts like a minute. Okay, so this will start giving us uh, 250 kilowatt hours of power. Let's go ahead and get another one in here. And there we go, now we've got another 500 uh, kilowatt hours of power. So these coal gens, uh, well, they've run out, but they're still powering the base somehow. So I think there's an issue with, uh, I think there's an issue with these generators still powering things. But there we go, our oil generator is now up and running. So this guy now can essentially, I believe we just chuck our ores in here. This guy will, I think this guy now smelts this. So it looks like it, looks like this quadruples our oil production actually. So let, hang on, let me see, does this quadruple our oil production? If it does, that is awesome. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's go ahead and smell this. It does! This thing's even better. This quadruples ore production. How awesome is that? Okay, that means we should just like pretty much put everything, everything and anything we want to smell should just go in here until um, we get quadruple, quadruple ores, which is really handy because that means I have to mine a lot less. So this thing can, uh, this thing can process ores really, really quick. That is awesome. Okay, so we can go ahead and do all that. Um, we got magnesium. I don't really need to worry. Oh, no, wait, that's iron, isn't it? So I should probably... I think my main resource drain is going to be iron. So you should probably get this. But now, the, the main thing that we can get from this now, as you guys can see, is this stuff here, which is the depleted uranium. So what we'll be able to do with this is hopefully... Uh, over time, we'll be able to make ourselves a mining drill and then completely automate the uh, the mining process, which would be really handy. Um, now, is there anything else I've, I need in here? I've got graphite. I don't think I have any more raw materials. So yeah, we need to essentially get ourselves the mining drill, um, which is going to be really cool if we can get that. So the other thing I want to do is I think I want to make myself um, some extreme energy storage. Uh, so if I just uh, if I just type in energy, or if, if I put an E, um, E N. Will that work? Hang on. It, it always comes out when you press the E key. It's one of those things. So you've got basic energy storage, heavy duty energy cell. So if I make myself a couple of these, they don't take that much, actually. So if I make a couple of these, um, let's make four of these, because that will then be useful for my mining drill. When we have that up and running, we can go ahead and you know, make that work, and it should be all good. So now, as you can see, we've got... Uh, look how much pig iron we've got already from that. That is amazing. Okay, this is much better. Man, I'm okay now. Now the resources are coming in. I don't feel so bad now about losing my uh, advanced mining tool because they're all starting to, to filter in now, which is great. Um, so I can take my iron here. Let's go ahead and charge up our other energy cells. I believe we can just put them in here, and they should charge. So I guess this thing will charge them really quickly. 
I'm going to put it in here. Yeah, that's charging it much faster than our other generator. And eventually we'll get a nuclear reactor as well. We're, we're going to have to do some base remodeling. I mean, you know, th this box base is not going to be sufficient forever. But we'll go ahead and ch we'll put our basic energy cells in here. Have these guys all charged. I think it charges... Does it charge one at a time or does it charge multiple? I think it charges one at a time. So we'll go ahead and charge one. Um, and then it will charge others as we go. So once we get our extreme energy cells, which should be coming out of here at some point. Here we go. So they do have a little bit of charge of them, but I kind of want to make sure... I kind of sort of want to make sure that we can charge these up. So I got some oil spare, which is great. So let's just take these as they craft. I think we've got two more to go. So we'll start crafting these in preparation to uh, have our mining drill running. So this guy can go in here to charge as well. This guy can go in this one. So yeah, it does, it, I don't think it kind of says what its current charge is. It just says what its actual overall capacity is. But 10k capacity is not bad. Because that's like, I think that's like the best one we can get. So it's coming here. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. There we go. We got, lo we got loads of stuff in here coming out now. That is amazing. That is uh, that is brilliant. So yeah, now now getting resources is not going to be um, so much of a so much of an issue. So how do we make the drill? So let's go to crafting here. I want to see how we now make the uh, if I type mining. Uh, hang on, drill. Hang on, drill. Okay, drill. Basic drone. No, it's not that. Which one is it to get the drill? I want to see where it is. Let's see. It's probably under. It's probably under base construction, isn't it? Because I, I did unlock it with research. I hope it hasn't been like wiped, because um, I did definitely unlock it with the research here. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Advanced mining station. That's what it is. So for that, I need four thousand five hundred iron, uh, a hundred of these, which is easy to get now, um, and then I need thirty two hundred copper. So copper is my other, my other issue. But I think we're getting a little bit out of here. So the iron shouldn't be a problem. I think we'll definitely have enough for that. So 3,200 copper is the main, the main thing now is the copper, um, which I think, I think we'll be able to get. I mean, I think with this stuff, we might have some spare in here. Um, I got more iron in, oh, wait, that's my current storage. Right, so we have another load of copper in here. We've got glass in here, I'm just seeing what else is here. This can actually be uh, smelted as well. But yeah, I may need to go out and do a little bit more mining, so I might need to go ahead and first make the, uh, the tool that I need. Um, but I think... I think we should get the amount of copper that we need. I might need to go out and get a little bit more. Okay, if I kind of half that stack there, that should get me more copper quickly. Um, okay, that's fine. So we can go ahead and do that. Let's add add some uranium in here as well. Let's add that in here to uh, begin smelting. And we can probably we can probably put that into here as well. Uh, and we can stack some of these together and then half these. Because that way, if we, if we kind of do that, it will start giving us the other resources we need a little bit quicker. There we go. So now we've got some uh, depleted uranium. And then we can just literally get all this stuff out here. Look, look at that. We are, Look how much we're generating every time now. That is really good. So one of these things just literally takes care of all of our needs. Um, so I don't know now if we can get the mining station uh, or if we still need more. I think we probably still need more. So if I go... So if I just go station... There we go. Advanced mining station. What are we short on now? Okay, so iron still a bit, and then copper we now have enough of, so it's just iron now. Okay, we can finally get ourselves an advanced mining station. I'm looking forward to this. Right, so more iron. Gimme, gimme. There we go. Take those. Take those. Take all that. Right, I think we can make it now. I think we can make it. Let's see if we can. Can we now make it? Yes! We can now make an advanced mining station. Yay! So that's going to take like 10 seconds to craft. That's actually really quick. That's not bad at all. Alright, here we go. So we now finally have a drill. We finally have a drill, so this is going to allow us to automatically get all the stuff we need. So let's go ahead and uh, come out here, and let's decide where we want to... Um, hang on, I'm going to come off of here because I think it's uh, a bit balked where it's trying to place it. So essentially now what we can do is uh, go ahead and decide... Man, this thing is this thing is massive. This thing is massive! Okay, so where, where the hell do I want to put this thing? I need to I need to find a space for it. Eventually I'm going to... I think eventually I'm going to move all this, but for now, I guess we will go... I guess here we'll do. So have a new password. Okay, so let's do. Uh, what is my new password? Um, let's do this one as our password. There we go. There we go. And our advanced mining station is here. Nice. So this thing is now up and running. Uh, man, this thing is massive, isn't it? Okay, that that is awesome though. So we've got a uh, we finally got ourselves a mining station. So this is where we put the drills and the energy cells. So the next thing we've got to do is actually you know get ourselves a drill to put inside this thing. So let's go ahead and see 
if we can make uh, some of the drills. So there's a uh, there's four different uh, drill cores, and I think it kind of depicts what you're going to get out of it. So if we go ahead and do, if we look at drill now, uh, let me see, let's go under everything, because I know there's um I know there's some drill cores. Um, I know there's some drill cores. I think um, whenever I, whenever I say E, it, it comes out. That's no, a base core. And I want to see. Oh, here we go. Uh, basic mining head. Okay, so basic mining head. Advanced mining head requires just loads of iron. So advanced mining head um, is used for the construction of the T2 mining tool and for the mining stations. Okay, so that's for T2, and then the heavy duty one I'm assuming is for the T3, right? Yeah. So the basic one is gonna be just this. So I, I assume we wanna. I assume we wanna go straight for advanced if we can, because um, that's probably that's probably the better way to do this. So let's go ahead and get all the iron. Man, look how much iron we have got coming in now. That's so nice. That's so beautiful. Okay, so we can get the advanced one now. Um, the heavy duty one requires okay just loads of iron essentially so that's not so bad so yeah we can probably get the advanced one which takes two seconds to grab that's that's really quick um so i'll get the advanced one and we'll go ahead and see what that does okay i need to charge some of my power cells again so these those other two power cells um oh wait they were are these charged now though that one's kind of charged so i guess i'll get this guy in take a while to charge but that's okay so let's come back here a minute and let's get our two our two cells here, our two advanced ones. We'll put this in the uh, we'll put these in the reactor. So these guys are now fully charged, which is great. So I guess I will, I guess I'll divvy up the tasks of charging to these guys. So you can be charged in here. Let's have these things have a durability as well, so they do eventually wear out, um, which is fine. So let's go ahead and just take one. So this one can charge those two. That is now charging that one. And I guess we can go ahead and see if we can get this drill core running. Let's have a look. Hopefully we can. All right. So let's come to this thingy and interact with this so we have to put the drills in to the top one so let's go and put the energy cell in here so energy cells in there um that probably is going so then essentially it's just saying we're, ju we're just missing a drill part so that's all we got to add to it so where did my drill heads go here we go so we put this guy in here there you go oh man that's actually that actually got me some stuff right away so this is giving me titanium okay so this is giving me titanium gold oil so essentially now we can uh pretty much control our power production coming through here which is awesome so if we wanted to increase the amount of which we got we would just put another one in there i reckon so if we go ahead and do it again we go ahead and do this and then instead of uh two per round it'll give us four per round right so let's see that should go up to 12 14 okay i guess i guess it doesn't i guess it just uses the one okay so iron coal feldspar uranium graphite okay i thought i thought it'd give us more per round. oh may maybe we need one energy cell per yeah, I, okay, I think we need one energy cell per layer that we use. So that means then we should get some basic ones. So we get some basic ones as well. Um, and then we can get uh, all the resources. We can, then, we can then get all the things, right? So we'll go ahead and get some basic ones. So two basic ones. Uh, basic mining head. We should have... Okay, there's one of them. Uh, okay, the other one I think has been lost. So let's go ahead and cancel that. Then get a basic mining head. There we go. Uh, that does happen sometimes, but... There we go. Basic mining hands done. And I can go ahead and add these. Okay, I think I think essentially we just need to keep all the power cells here. Uh ready to go. Because that means at least what we what this means, guys, is that I shouldn't have to go mining anymore. Um if I don't have to go mining anymore, that is gonna be awesome source. Okay, so we'll grab these for now. I'm not sure how quickly these things use power. But eventually uh we'll get a nuclear reactor up as well and we'll get that running so let's come to this guy so yeah he is slowly but surely getting stuff in so i'm assuming if i add the basic ones as well and then i add a power cell to these guys i should start to maybe get more so i think we just need to align these with those and then do i do i start getting more or does this thing or does this thing wear out and then give me more i think what it does is it'll wear down this mining head and then I think that's what it does. It, it'll wear down the mining head and then get me the stuff I need, um, I think. So, yeah, if we want the other stuff, we need to we need to put the basic ones in first, and then it'll wear it down. Um, so, yeah, it, it looks like that's what it's going to do. So, once it's worn this down, it will then work on this one. Once it's worn that one down, it will then work on this one, and then it'll work on that one. Um, I think that's how it goes. So, if I swap the order, we should see that we then get the coal and stuff here. Yeah, there we go. So, what we could do... Let's go ahead and do that and go ahead and do that. And if I want uh, more stuff, we just uh, we just have to go ahead and, uh, you know, do some more. But that's uh, that's essentially now a way that we can automatically get uh, all the ores we need without having to worry so much about, 
essentially without having to worry so much about going out and getting it ourselves. So now every time I log off the server, um, I can literally come back here and there'll be another drill. And there we go. Now I have to defend this thing. I mean, we haven't got any defense around it. Someone else could just come and, and destroy it. But uh, hopefully that won't happen. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to hope here. I probably need to reinforce this somehow. But at least now we're getting uh, resources coming in. Albeit very slowly, but we're getting them coming in. So yeah, it doesn't say... I just wish it said on the energy cell how much that it stores. But I think what we can do is we'll take... We'll leave one in there. I'll put the basic energy storage in there. I think that should last. I think that should last. So the other ones here, we'll go ahead and... Uh, we'll go ahead and charge these guys. And then the basic energy storage, I will take out three of those and put those into the drill. Because then that's like another 3k's worth. And that's probably the equivalent of what I had already. So let's come back out here. Here we go. And then we can go ahead and do these three. So actually, let's put a basic one in here. I want to see how fast it drains a basic one. Um, probably very, very quickly. Yeah, that does seem to drain it quite quickly already. Um, just from the one operation. So one operation kind of drains it. I don't know. Is that draining it quite fast? A little bit. It's not that It's not that much. It's like a tiny sliver coming off the top. So yeah. Okay, yeah, it's, it's draining that one quite fast. So it does actually use quite a lot of energy. So it might require quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of micromanagement of stuff. But once we get the three, once we get three fully charged ones, though, that should be uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So the last thing we can do then is before we go ahead and head off. I know I said I was going to get onto some base building, but you know we have done a bit more base building, I suppose. But the last thing I think I want to do is first of all let's uh, kind of split this up. And uh, we can go ahead and do that. So we got some. Uh, we do. We do need some more iron being processed. But yeah, this thing is really quick. I'm liking that. So essentially, what we need to do is go out uh, every time we need stuff. We go out mining, and there it is. Um, so I'm sure there's a nuclear reactor we can make at some point, which will uh, which will be better than this these oil ones. But now we got two coal ones as our main ones. These ones are now our main. Well, these are our backup ones, I guess. These are our main ones. And then yeah, I don't know how quickly this burns through the oil though. How quickly is that? That's that's got two, three, five left. That's not so bad. So yeah, it's, uh, it's 60 seconds uh, each, so that that will that will say it'll burn for like four hours essentially, which is which is not bad. That's pretty good. So yeah, we're looking pretty good on uh, all this side of things now, which I'm I'm pretty happy about. I'm I'm glad that we're getting through a lot of this. So the last thing that I want to do is can I upgrade my uh, can I get my mining tool upgraded again to a T2 one? Uh, let me see, because if we can, that'd be awesome. So let's go uh, crafting. Let's see if I can get my T2 mining tool again. Uh, pickaxe, advanced mining tool, here we go. Advanced mining tool requires... Okay, so I just, essentially I just need more iron and oil. Okay, well I can get more oil easily. I've got some in here actually. See, I just need a little bit more iron essentially, and then I can get my, uh, I can get my other mining tool back. And we should actually, now that we've got this drill, we should actually be able to get it from here. Because if I come into this guy, we should see um, that we've got 80 iron in here, which should give me... That should give me quite a bit. So yeah, if we got 80 iron in there... We should be able to go ahead and put it in here, and this should give me like 16 each each shot. There we go. So we can go ahead and put those in there. There we go. So that'll then double to 32. That's so quick. I love how quick this is. There we go, 64. So that should go pretty much chew through that, and then that should hopefully give me the amount of iron that I need. I don't think I'm too far. Sh I don't think I'm too far short of what I need. So if I'm not that far short, I think we might be okay from from getting this. But yeah, see see how just much nicer it is. I can just go ahead and just wait for it to all to do. Then there we go. We have it. We have it all there essentially. So yeah, I think what I want to do eventually is make like a mining outpost and just have like a mining station, um, which would be really really nice to have because that can get all the uh, all the ores that I need. Look at that. There we go. We can grab that. A bit more. And a bit more. Do we have enough now? Let's have a look and see. Let's have a look and see now if I have enough. So crafting. Can I now get it? I'm still. 1678 out of 2k. So I'm still slightly short, but that's okay. Last thing we can do then is before we end off the episode, let's get ourselves a. Uh, I think there's like a large storage crate we can get. Um, so let's go and see if I can see if I can find that. It's probably under bases. Uh, there's a basic drone. It's probably near the bottom, isn't it? That's usually where it is. Um, so small cargo hold. So it's cargo. Okay. Let's type in cargo. Large cargo container. Here we go. So that just takes 89. That's actually really cheap. Nice. Okay. We can make one of those. And then that could be used to store... I can get a couple of these to store my metals and a few other things. That is awesome. So we can go ahead and make all that. I'm pretty happy with where we've managed to get to. That is uh, that is very awesome. So looks like our luck is turning a little bit, which I'm, I'm happy about. Because we, we've not been... I have to admit, we've not been having the best of luck, guys. Um, we've really not been having the best of luck with uh, RNG uh, screwing us over a little bit. Uh, being randomly killed by just whatever. 
Um, I think the, uh, the the guy, Bravos, who I was talking to said it was a sandworm um, that got me before. Um, so hopefully we don't run into any of those because I've not actually seen one. So I'd be interested to see, you know, what that what they actually look like. But I've not seen. I I I, I kind of know what they do look like, but you know, I'm I'm I don't really want to run face to face with one. That would be that could be that could be bad, you know. Um, so we've got 999. I'm just trying to see how much iron I've got in total. I wish there was like a an auto sort feature on this, like in the, like in seven days. That'd be really nice. But I think I think I need 2k iron, and I'm not going to get it yet. So I, th I probably need to just wait offline, let this thing mine up all its resources that it can. Because this thing can hold quite a bit. It can, yeah, look, it can, it can hold a ton. So this thing can hold uh, quite a lot of resources. So once these energy cells run out, then I can go ahead and collect all this stuff from here and then have it uh, get processed. But yeah, we can get Feldspar from here as well for base building. So if I can get more... The thing is, if I can get more of these, it's going to be really good, right? Because if I can get more of these things, I can go ahead and just say, yeah, I want to... I want to go ahead and uh, give myself some more. So it's powered. I don't know if we can make these things faster. I would. I'd like to see if we could make these things faster. It would be. It would be kind of interesting if we could. But yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to make. Uh, I don't think we're going to quite be able to make this at least for a little while. But yeah, a T2 mining tool would mean I can still go. I. I still probably do some mining off camera. But yeah, now we can get a large cargo hold, which I believe we should have in our crafter now. So let's go ahead and put this down. So large cargo hold. Where? Where you be? There you are. Large cargo hold. Here we go. Because then what I can do is essentially go ahead and... Uh, that's pretty cool. Just a little bit bigger. So I can go G, we'll center it, and we'll go ahead and place it right there. And there we go. We now have a large cargo hold, and this thing can store loads more. Okay, yeah, the, the small cargo hold is, you know, meh. Large cargo hold is awesome. So we can go ahead and just store these uh, things in here. Just keep it all together. There we go. So we've got gold in there. Got some more oil in there for backup. Got iron. I think I will craft some oil off camera as well. So let's just go, well, not really off camera because I'm doing it right here, but I guess I'll go and craft some, some oil. Um, let's see, so 258, so that's 129, one, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's right. Yeah, 258, 258. Cool, I, I can do maths. Hooray! There you go, so we can craft some oil here. So yeah, essentially now I can, uh, I can store all the stuff I need to in here. I've got some more graphite if I need to as well. So yeah, all this stuff can then just be stored in this large... Uh, large cargo hold and then every time we go out we just have uh, we just have this tutorial how cool is that there we go so we got uh, everything there ready uh, and i think guys we're at a pretty good point to go ahead and uh, end off the episode so i think we're gonna go ahead and uh, end it here so uh, that was uh, pretty awesome we actually progressed a little bit further in pantropy now and i'm feeling good so we've actually got automated mining and all i gotta do is uh, pretty much when i'm when i'm not around on the server this thing will run get me ores and then when i come back i should have all these ores unless of course some little bugger has taken them which, you know, if they have, then it doesn't really matter. But yeah, these uh, these things... Okay, so yeah, these basic energy cells don't last long. But the extra strength ones will last ten times as long. So I'm assuming it's going to be more of an more of an upkeep thing than anything. But that's okay. So yeah, that's that's looking pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with uh, how we've managed to go here. So I think, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, end off the episode. Off camera, what I'm probably going to do is try and get myself the T2 mining tool. And I know I've got... Uh, I know I've already got some stuff already. But I might even try and go for the T3 now that I've got the capability to uh, auto mine. Because um, if I get enough iron in, I will just go for the t3 um and then that will allow me to you know when, I, when i'm off doing stuff at least i can then go ahead and mine uh, as i need to so these things are slowly but surely charging up yeah so that should be cool so yeah in the next episode i definitely i definitely want to get some base building done as well i mean i know i've been saying it for a while i definitely want to get some extra base building done and actually make something a bit nicer than this i kind of want to build like on top of that rock or something would be pretty cool so we could go ahead and we, we 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 can either build here or find another location to uh to actually start off a proper base because i do want i do want to go ahead and you know sort some stuff out right now because you know right now right now it's not the best it's it's okay but we we could do better so i think what we're gonna do guys let's go ahead and end off the episode thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one so until then bye